Hi guys, and walks back for another unboxing. And today we are going to be reviewing, oh my god, I'm so excited. It's the Grell Sutcliffe one eighth scale from Kotobukiya. And it's gonna be really awkward to try to get this huge box in frame. So bear with me as I do the first part of this review. Um, but speaking of the box, holy shit, it is awesome. It has this really elegant like rose and filigree design and it has actual uh, metallic bits to it too, including the text and some of the stop line work and stuff like that. And then here it is on the bottom, Grell Sutcliffe. And of course over here we have the Aniplex licensed sticker. And then here we have the side, and we have Grell Sutcliffe over here, that beautiful silver again. The other side is virtually the same, just got some information in Japanese. And then on the back, we have all of this beautiful imagery. And it is very stunning. I'm really, really excited to get up close and personal with this bitch. Um, and it also has this really cool little silver rose design. Uh, it's metallic, and if you can tell, that is my cell phone going off. <laughs> and if you can tell, uh, it's, a, it's a layer underneath. So that's pretty cool looking. It's like a little button almost. Um, so let's me figure out how I am actually supposed to open this without damaging it. Alright, so now that I have this sticker off, I am going to open this baby. I've had this thing lying around for almost a week, I think? Almost. Um, I found the package, uh, waiting for me when I got home from Anime California. And it's been pretty hard not to open it. I gotta admit, I already opened my Harley Quinn Play Arts Kai figure, but I will be reviewing her Next, if not soon. God damn, this box is so big. So there's the inside. It's like a really cool, like raspberry colored Victorian sort of look. Let me just get that out of the way for now. Oh God. And now we can finally check this out. All right. Oh, there's tape. Of course there's tape. Let me get that. Oh my God, it's like six feet long. Oh, Jesus. And there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, he's already on his base. All right, hold on. Let me just get all of his plastic off here. All right, there he is. And then here is his sweet ass chainsaw. But hang on, let's just look at him first. And I just changed my camera settings because he was looking a little funky. Um, but hopefully that looks better. Oh my god, look at that face. I'm telling you, the camera does not do it justice. That is so cool. So, there you can see his face, and then look at all of the hair sculpting and shading. That looks so cool. And then we also have the details on his necktie, or bow tie, and his little hand there. Oh, I love it! And we've got his beautifully sculpted body. That looks so awesome. And the shading is great too, especially like here on his vest. I love that. And he's even got his little pocket chains here and they go all the way around. So that is also very impressive. And then of course his coat hangs halfway off of him like it does in the anime. And they executed that really well too. In fact, the only place it's really attached is like here and here. So it's really easy for it to flex because it doesn't have much anchor point. So do be careful of that if you have him in your collection. And here is that bow on the back of his coat. It looks really awesome. And look at his hair. Look at the sculpts on his hair. It is so like wavy and awesome looking. That is really cool. And of course, down here we have his base, uh, and all of the figures in the series, which so far is four, um, are based off of a chessboard. So we've got him here with um, probably the queen, which is fitting. 
and his sexy ass boots are here. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, and I feel a little bad because there's not that much to talk about when it comes to a scale since you can't really pose it or anything. And then here is his chainsaw, his modified scythe. Uh, and I gotta say, the shine on here is really awesome. Like, it's really fitting and it feels like the shine is exactly what it was like in the anime. So it's really cool how they pulled that off. And then here we have all the details over here. Um, I gotta say the red part, uh, it, it feels kind of fake. Like, I wish that maybe if they had put like some kind of a gloss or candy coat on it, it would have looked a little better, but I still really like it. Alright, so here he is. I set him up with his chainsaw down here. And it was pretty tricky to get in his hand. Uh, the grip wasn't necessarily like too tight. But uh, I was just really worried of messing it up. Um, but what you need to do is you need to get this handle like scooted back behind his thumb and that's when it kind of pops into place. It's doable just to be very careful. And there it is, his chainsaw and then you can see the queen piece there on the base and then his boots. Um, it's, it's hard to find stuff to talk about with this again because it's just a scale, it's like one static statue. So I just want to make sure that I can sort of show you guys all the detail uh, in a decent manner. So again, I'll just gloss over some of these details just so you guys can see them. So there he is, the Grell Sutcliffe 1 8 scale from Artifacts J Kotobukiya. Uh, I really, I really like this figure though. I. I do have one main issue with it, and it's uh, his front bang here that comes across his face. It's it, it feels warped, or maybe the piece was glued wrong, I'm not sure, but if you look here on the large image in the corner of the box here, you can see it's coming sort of straight down and over, but on this one, it kind of goes off at a very strange angle like across his eye, and it does not look that great. So, I don't know if this is with all of the ones uh, that are being put out, or if mine just sort of got messed up somehow. Um, but I'm thinking I might have to contact the uh, customer support for Kotobuki or something like that. Uh, because aside from this being an overall really great figure that I've been super excited about, um, that one part there is a little off-putting. And now that con season is finally over, god, that was like a really busy past two or three months. Um, I will be back on track making videos every week, I promise you that. Um, I really miss you guys and I'm really happy to be back. So until next time guys, Mbox out. If you could tell...